Hi guys, David J. Kuhn with Qigong Awareness. I wanted to teach you three relatively simple stretching flexibility exercises that I often use when I'm teaching Qigong. Exercises that I use to heal my spine of a severe spinal disease that the doctor said would cripple me by the time I was 30 years old. By the time I was 25, they said my spine looked like I was 85. I had to do something to heal my spine. By the time I was about 28 years old, I had reversed the spinal disease. Comes to back pain. It's also pain throughout the body, but today I'm gonna to specifically talk about back pain. When it comes to back pain, I always used to have these really deep aches in my shoulders, my back, my low back, all these different places. And I didn't have the understanding of some of the mechanisms of how the physical body works. So let me tell you one thing about how the physical body works. When you do not have enough oxygen and you're not getting enough air, and especially today with the pandemic and what we have going on, we're not getting enough air, we're not getting enough oxygen, all right? So when you don't have enough oxygen, you begin producing energy for your body in an anaerobic state, which basically means the body doesn't have enough oxygen, and so it starts producing energy for you. I won't get too complicated, I'll keep it simple. It produces energy for you, but it does it at a cost. There's this byproduct that comes with the energy that the body is producing for you, and it is called lactic acid. That's about as simple as I can make the story. Lactic acid is this byproduct that comes when the body's trying to produce energy for you, keep energizing you, give you energy, and so on and so forth, but there's not enough oxygen. So it produces this thing called lactic acid. Lactic acid causes pain. When it sits in your tissues and it's clumped up there in people's tissues like it was in mine many years ago, the pain is intense and it sits there and it constantly fires those nerves. So if we were to go for a massage, if we were to go for acupuncture, if we were to go do some of these different disciplines, we begin to move the blood and we bring in new blood, new oxygen, and we get rid of the lactic acid. So in these stretching exercises and flexibility exercises and breathing exercises, okay, we're beginning to loosen up the tissues make space, we're using our breath to bring in new oxygen, and that movement, that combination of movement, of breath and of stretching and so on, it's going to move that stagnant blood, get rid of that lactic acid, and if you are wise, you'll drink some water after your session, drink some before, drink some afterwards, you will then pee out this yucky byproduct called lactic acid, which is a major source of pain in the body. Learn it, know it, remember it, and work with it, and you'll save a lot of time, money, and energy. You won't need things like ibuprofen and aspirin to thin your blood or to kill your pain. I don't use it anymore. I used to take ibuprofen like candy back when I was about 25 years old. Uh, does a tune off of your liver, really causes major liver problems. So find another way. These three stretches are going to be a great start in trying to loosen up some of the muscles, some of the musculature, and get some breath and get some new oxygen and some new chi into areas where the blood is stagnating. That's what we call it in Chinese medicine when the blood is kind of stuck and stagnating and we need to bring some new oxygen and we need to bring some new blood. I'm gonna take my left hand and I'm gonna reach high over toward my backside. My right hand's gonna go with it, and then I'm gonna start to twist my spine very carefully, and I'm going to start breathing. I wanna go to the area where I feel the tension, not any further, and I just wanna breathe there. Looking over my shoulder, over toward my backside, off at like a 45 degree angle if I can. And then I'm gonna reverse my hands, 
My right hand is high, my left hand is low. Feet are glued to the floor. And once again, I'm gonna twist and I'm gonna look over that shoulder. Once I reach that place of tension, I want to stop and pause and be with that musculature and I want to breathe into it slow through my nose. You do not want to overreach in any of these exercises. It will take you backwards. You have to practice with patience. Good. And then come out of that for a moment. Okay. And then from here, I want you to go ahead and place your left hand on your left hip. Your right arm is going to go up over your head. If you can put your arm on your head like this, that's one way, or we can just reach over the head like this. I want to keep this as a frame, okay? In other words, it stays somewhat solid, and I want to lean that way. This kind of does some degree of holding me up, but it also pushes in my hip, and it allows me to stretch some of these muscles in my back, and I'm going to reach over here like this, and it's not about how far I lean, it's about feeling that stretch. Whether that's in the erectors or the quadratus lumborum, these muscles back here from the hip up into the back. And I'm going to reach, I'm going to hold, and most importantly, I'm going to breathe. And I'm going to breathe into whatever sort of pain or discomfort I feel there. And for me today, that is pretty sore. It's also pretty sore up here in my upper chest and into my deltoids. Also in the side of my neck. On the right side, I can feel that stretch. Very important here, I recommend come down with the elbow first down with the elbow and then you might go like ah oh, like I can actually feel my spine adjust back there I could feel some areas that were pretty tense relaxing a little bit I'm gonna put the right hand on the hip hold like this again I kind of push in I'm gonna start to lean and I'm gonna start to reach I want to keep some degree of tension perhaps in the area of my buttocks and my core just so I don't I'm not falling over Depends on how good your balance is. Once again, once you get here, very important, we need to breathe now. Any one of these exercises we could do more than once. Let's go ahead and do this one again before we go to our third stretching exercise. So we're going to put the hand in the left hip, reach over with my right arm, reaching, stretching, holding. And I'll be honest with all the working out and things that I do these days, even though my spine is healthier than it's ever been. A lot of days I get done with this stretch and I literally go, OMG, oh my God, I can't even believe how tight I am there. Breathe. Really try and get in tune with your breath and your musculature again. I recommend rather than just using your back to pull you up or your side is elbow down. That helps. Gravity helps you that way. Go ahead and place that hand on the right hip. You reach up with my left arm. I'm almost getting a little yawn in there. I can feel something relaxing in my body now. Once you find that area of tension, you gotta stop, pause, and breathe. This is not an exercise that you rush through. Stretching exercises should never be something you rush through. So if you don't have time, don't do it. Feels so good, I want to stay there for a while. Elbow down. But also when I come out, I go, wow, that was very stiff in there. All right, 
The third one that I'm going to give you for this particular set is I'm going to have you interlock your hands. This kind of comes together with a Qigong exercise that we do that's sometimes called uplifting the sky or holding up the sky, something like this. The hands are interlocked. They come up and I turn them down. And as far as the Qigong aspect of this, I'm sort of walking down the Qi. I'm putting my mind a little bit in the ground. From this position, I'm going to keep going. My pinkies go up toward my camera here and out in front of me. So that's the first part of this stretch. So I'm already stretching here. And then I'm gonna reach up above my head carefully, be careful of your fingers and so on. And reach, stretch. You can even look up if you desire a little bit. Again, make sure you're breathing. From this position, we're going to disengage our fingers and they come down in this Qigong exercise. We sit our weight a little bit, almost like you're sitting on a horse. And let's do it again. So the hands come up, interlocked. They come up to about the throat or the collarbone. Turn down. I sit my weight a little bit. Here comes the stretching portion of this. I reach forward, interlocking the hands. The pinkies are going toward the ceiling. I pause there for a moment. That's the first part of the stretch. And then I go into this uplifting or upholding the sky. This is one of the eight brocades. Breathing, holding, stretching. And release the fingers. Let's do it one more time. Hands come up, interlocking, turn them over and come down. From this position here, reaching forward, that's the beginning of that stretch. And then come up and that's the full stretch here. And hold, breathing, breathing, closing your eyes if you desire. Inhale, exhale, let the hands come out. And then just a little bounce. Heels just coming slightly off the floor. That's to just kind of shake out what we did and move our bodies and move some of that blood. That blood, once we start breathing into it and stretching and so on, kind of go like this with your arms for a moment, we kind of break up that stagnation and we begin to move the blood.